Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. This is Xenocat823543. In this episode, we're going to go around and talk to our other party members, because that's what you have to do. Hmm. Good advice, dumb man. Each party member has two lines, but you can never see all of them anyway. So I just figure I'm just going to show the first one. Yeah. Ryan, ugh, Melia is honest, Melia is a good person, you are to be interrogated by the divine seer, stand back, oh, and guess who, Alvis, yup, what are you doing here? I see. So that is why you are here. Is Melia okay? We didn't mean to cause her any trouble. Rest assured, she is fine. The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. You don't mean... Yes. This the is Manada. cool, because I'm watching it right before... Because this scene is taking place just before dawn. go back many years... Millennia, in fact. Ah. Leave everything to me. Well, it looks like Alvis is going to save us. You are not held for long. These... We cannot have the saviors of her highness treated as criminals now, can we? Yep. Free these people. I shall take responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests. Of the Imperial family. Well, that's an Sir, upgrade. I am required to report to His Majesty. So now we can explore Alchemy. I would escort you around that's the nice. capital. Use this room at your leisure. And you are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. This room is an option now. Farewell. Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you. Be patient. I know what it is you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right. Oh, okay. That's nice, Alvis. But thanks for freeing us. Like, I really do appreciate it. And we can now go leave if we want to, but we're all standing around. Rich. So where are we going? Anywhere but here. I'm bored of this stuffy room. Same. Okay, then. I mean, I would like to think that Ricky, we're not going to spend our, so our time here in a room. Ricky, wait. Your eminence. Oh no, someone has a problem. What God want? If you're after Alvis, he's gone. What? Where did he go? What happened? We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Sounds like they need our help. Sure, can Ricky go help? Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course. We're happy to help. But you're outsiders. Soldier man, not worry. Hereupon Ricky is here to save the day. It is most appreciated. We need all the help we can get. And this is not the party I want. Far from it. Actually, it's not too far. No. Never mind, this is the party I want. I just want Ricky in the lead. Because we haven't shown off Ricky yet. And now that melia has gone, and I don't have to worry about equal... Affinity. I can focus on Ricky's affinity with Dumban and Ryan. Good thing Melia already got the green affinity with Ryan, because that's hopefully who we'll be building affinity with. So let's go out.
Let's leave this place. And this takes us right here. And there are quests, of course. Now, I will not be taking any non generic quests. But there is a generic quest giver right up here. And we found Monster Quest 4's giver, which means there are three others. And yeah, the dialogue is the same, it's just different enemies. Oh, something that's actually not like that. Well, at least he grows more friendly as you keep asking, offering to help. I don't think you can, are allowed to go up here yet. I can't even talk to Donis or Kylan, depending on the time of day. Also, we're no longer going to be going by the rules of like always being nighttime. So it can be daytime now. Yes. And challenge three. Another quest. Well, making progress. Actually, I think someone, Galvin might have something to say. Yeah. Starter affinity links are always a thing as we begin our exploration. Regretful. Between Galvin and Lacro. Yeah, this is where they are. They're all done. I don't think there's any other affinity links with Gal with any of the soldiers now. I might I will check that probably after this video. Mm, I'm just you know. There's the silver ring there. We might need that later. But the way out is just to head out here. Towards the bustling capital. Towards the bustling city outside of the Imperial Palace. Because we want to talk to people. Right at the entrance. More generic questing. We found Monster Quest 2. Yeah. Which, of course, has multiple parts. No, I, no, I probably will go around and talk to all the NPCs. What is it? Oh, of course, you don't have enough materials. So, Material Quest 4, yay, now we know that there's three other Material Quests. And we found Monster Quest 1's giver. Of course, several parts. So make sure you talk to them multiple times in order to get everything. Passings. 
there. That's it. And over here, you can find Keelan, who I am not actually trading with. I'm just registering on the affinity chart. So yeah, there are other people outside of the Imperial Palace. Because really, there are people everywhere. Over here, you can find Makrish. Who I will not be inviting to Colony 6. I am sorry. Yet. I am sorry. I just wanted to register you on the affinity chart. I didn't want to invite you to Colony 6. But it's nice to know that we can already do that. Noroth, I believe, has, has an affinity link. No, I'm not. Why did I do that? It's like five seconds until the time changes. Yep, there's the affinity link. As soon as the time changed. And we get Noroth and Tewen linked as pupil. Down there is Makrish. With a pupil. So, yeah. This area, just as a warning, is very symmetrical. I will probably be exploring this area in the day now. Like, firmly daytime. It's basically north symmetrical, like the north side is the same as the south side. Except NPCs differ. Oh, there's a generic quest down there. And we have material quest two. So more material quest. Another material quest. Well, at least we're getting stuff done. Kind of. You can kind of see a red item orb in the distance if you squint hard enough. It's going to be concealed by the foliage soon. Yep, all the grass and stuff is concealing it now, but it's still right there. Found Mother's Necklace. And very nearby, Marissa. Oh, that is too bad. And now I'm going to continue out to the Outer Rim. This Outer Rim has next to nothing on it. There is a single named NPC and a single que generic quest giver out here during the day. There is nothing out here at night, so don't go here. Unless otherwise specified. But there aren't any NPC named NPCs out here, and there's only one reason to come out here at night. Now, a little trick you can do. You see this car thing? Just because I want to show this off. You can literally just stand here and let it push you. I'm only touching the joystick so I, just to move myself back towards the middle. As you can see, I'm just drifting along, gliding along. And each of these will take, these take you between the little buildings. Oh, there's one on the bridge, I just remembered. There is a generic quest giver on one of the bridges. I think it's that one, actually. Oh well, we'll go back for it. Might be the other one. Yeah. It slows to a stop as you reach the first one of these. And the other one is all the way over there already, so I'm just gonna keep running. I'm just gonna run normally, unfortunately, but slowly getting there. There's a heart to heart here. Charla and Melia at purple affinity. 
that's going to be something that we're viewing soon because we need that affinity anyway for a quest. Well, not that exact affinity link in particular, but that's the first one. Because there will be, because spoilers, there is another female party member that joins us later on. And back there, behind there, you can find someone who gives you Collection Quest 1. Which we've completed, so thanks for the money. So thanks for get thanks for the money, person. I mean, hey, it was free. Basically, all we did was throw was get rid of some random stuff that we had. And now the last place that I'm going is to the very southern end of this outer is south along here because right here is a named NPC. They put one out here, Vidian. Vidian forms so many affinity links, but that I, so I'm going to be coming back here later because we don't have the stuff yet. Also, only landmarks here are Ascension Hall and Imperial Palace. Only landmarks on this entire floor. So pleasant. Next time, we will finish exploring the upper level of Alchemoth during the day, and possibly do other... Start nighttime exploring. See you then.